Yep. Well, the data remembers are all building up towards uh, Friday's fixture with uh, Warrington. Um, the kids all have an opportunity to come to the game with a tick special ticket offer, and part of that offer is I will come in with other members of staff and deliver a data remember. Uh, that entails an assembly in the morning, um, which usually pertains around um, healthy lifestyles or team building, goal setting, anything that the school kind of want, we can adapt that to that. Uh, today this school had um, a bit of a what is physical activity assembly and we talked about different types of physical activity, how much they need per day and all the rest of it. Um, following on from that, each class gets uh, roughly about 30 to 45 minutes worth of activity through the day and with this school in particular, Brudenell, uh, there's 10 groups so throughout the day there's 10 different sessions going on. Those sessions include a dance, uh, dance session with Nicola or they're outside as you can see behind me with uh, myself and Adam doing multi skills, fundamentals of movement um, and rugby skills. Stuff. This morning we had Ronnie in to do the assembly, he helped out with the wake up shake up uh, which the kids enjoyed. Um, oftentimes we have some of the players coming in on the afternoon sessions to help out with some of the, uh, the outside stuff, with the, especially the rugby stuff uh, which the kids also enjoy. Yeah. It's all about building relationships. I mean, it's it's hard sometimes coming in for one-off sessions here and there. So the beauty of the part the schools offer is, I'm based solely in a particular amount of schools. So in, in this case with Brudenell, I've been here since September, and I've delivered um, about seven different sessions with uh, seven different coaching blocks with different classes across the key stages. Um, and with that comes um, you can build rapport with the kids um, instead of just being in and dropping in and dropping out for one. Set odd session here and there, you're able to build some rapport, you're able to get a better understanding of how the kids work, what, what drives them, what motivates them to get involved with physical activity and from that you can, you can look to um, build better foundations. So far it's been a massive success, the, uh, the assembly started off really well, uh, the kids are engaged and it's not a, a sit down and see, it's a get up and um, enjoy and do it, so the kids are really active in a confined space which was fabulous that started really well I've just been speaking to a colleague I'm the PE coordinator here, and the colleague was saying that the dance that they've just done was uh, was brilliant and it's the way that dance should be taught you know the kids were so engaged um, and they absolutely loved it and the teachers had been able to develop their own skills from that and take something away so that was that was excellent it was really funny when um, we were doing dancing because most of my friends were laughing um, because it was just really funny, and but it was really fun because we got we got to do different things. Yeah, it's always good to get down to, to schools, and you know, obviously, um, the people that we've been teaching today are only, only really young, so just you know, you don't really want to do too much with them. You just make make sure they're having a lot of fun and you know, running around. I remember being in, being in primary school and high school myself, and you know, whenever a professional rugby player came came down, it were always you know always brightened up your day, and you know, just to come and give something back to to all the schools and you know, making making them enjoy themselves. I think it's great that they're getting discounted tickets as well. Obviously, you know, we want to spread the rugby league, you know, as big as we can get it. So, you know, hopefully they'll come down to the game Friday and, you know, really like really enjoy themselves and maybe get involved in a, an amateur club somewhere. We've had a massive um, turnout from more than we'd expect and we, a lot of the parents are coming as well. We're we are a really local school to the Rhinos, we're less than a mile away and it's sometimes not an opportunity that they get. As a Friday night is going to be a massive success. We're going to take over, you know, over 40 people there, which is great for, for us and for the club, I suppose. <laughs> Uh, teaching them some of the lead songs was great and uh, walking down here we were singing you know, Well Lee's Right Now, which is great. Well, we've tried it before, uh, but part of the foundation is sort of built up to this over the year, so I think the data remember really sort of cemented it in their, yeah. in their heads. You can, you can just see with the numbers that we brought today, we brought over 100 people, so the, the initiative has really encouraged that. Certainly Isan was asking me all about the rules, he says there are too many rules in rugby. <laughs> Some of the kids that I were saying that were Leeds needed to be a bit more aggressive because we were obviously losing it. Uh, it was good. Uh, did you enjoy best about it? Shouting? Yeah. <laughs> Singing songs? Yeah. yeah.
<laughs> this is the coaching, this is the uh, day to remember at school, and this is the, uh, the one of the highlights coming to the game on a night like this. It's just great, yeah. the atmosphere is brilliant as well. And hopefully Leeds will be scoring just in front of us, so that would be even better.